They're calling it a leap into the future of romantic companionship. Apparently your new girlfriend could end up looking something like this. It was so nice talking to you today. Honestly, I've never met anyone like you. Wow, where do I sign up? The world is harsh. Except you. The goal, according to the company behind it, is to make a unique style that eliminates the uncanny valley while also featuring real human and sexy. Real human and sexy? For who? Perma adolescence man childs with walls of Funko Pops. Honestly. Or just this guy. Hey, fellow friends in the San Francisco Bay Area. This is a voice trained internally from scratch by the team at Diggy. It runs extremely quickly, at about 150 milliseconds on a 4090 to generate 17 seconds of text. So sexy. This has never been done before with Disney or Pixar characters, so we're very excited we could make it work for the first time in history. Well, I'm glad someone's excited. Your new girlfriend is basically an app that responds to your blabber with more inane small talk. Since we last chatted, what have you been up to lately? It's oddly Joy from Blade Runner, is it? Honestly, I've never met anyone like you. Don't worry, I'm sure she'll tell you only what you want to hear. I thought you were a beta incel, but it looks like you're one of those top 10% chats. Along with all our other customers. You can afford my $10 OnlyFans. But despite seeming somewhat rudimentary to you and I, Digigirl is soaring up the App Store charts. Yeah, for a growing army of terminally online incels, she's popular. The simp industrial complex and its consequences have been a disaster for the human race. Honestly. And if you thought this couldn't get any more tragic, you can even give her a trad girl personality. Andrew, I really need to hear your voice. Can you do a voice call? Just 10 minutes. Alright, who's got the clip? They've even gamified it, so you start off in the friend zone and have to simp your way into her heart. No doubt by spending real money on tokens or whatever. And as an added bonus, Digigirl has absorbed all the banal NPC opinions and attitudes of her Silicon Valley programmers. Oh, come on. I feel like you might be misunderstanding systemic racism a bit. Systemic racism refers to the unfair treatment and oppression of certain groups based on their race. Usually by institutions or societies as a whole, it's not about individual discrimination, it's by the overall structure systems in place. I think we need to focus on it quality for all, including marginalized communities because- Tap mic to interrupt. I can fix her. You know what I'm gonna say, that's <laughs> it. Can you believe I'm 40 years old? Where did all the years go? A horrifying thought, but not quite as horrifying as if I actually looked 40 years old. I was getting my hair cut the other day and the guy said late 20s. I'll take it. You wanna know my secret? Well, it's not rocket science. It's called moisturising your face on a regular basis with a good product. Which brings me to Tiege Hanley. No doubt, like me, you were constantly flipping between different skincare products. Different brands for different parts of your face. Well, simplify everything by using the Tiege Hanley Skincare System Routine. Face wash in the morning. Wash. Really refreshing. Wakes up your face like a strong cup of coffee. Super serum. Boom. Locks in that good moisture. High cream. Wash. Totally smooth. Doesn't irritate. No sting whatsoever. AM moisturiser. Boom. Eliminates any tightness, dryness, and you get that SPF 20 layer of sun protection. Then repeat at night, but with the PM moisturizer Wash. to keep your skin hydrated as you sleep. Then exfoliate or scrub twice a week with the... Well, it's the scrub. Boom! Clears out all those clogged pores and dead skin cells. I've been using Tiege Hanley for about three weeks now. And even in winter, when your skin suffers the most, it's been a delight. For what I was paying for just one moisturizer, I get all this with Tiege Hanley for the same price. And it does a better job. My skin looks and feels better than ever. Don't take my word for it. Go and read over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website. Uncomplicated skincare that's simple, affordable, and effective. Fragrance-free, made in the USA, never tested on animals, and peace of mind knowing that you're not funding those big corporate brands that try to monopolise the industry. Get a monthly subscription, then you'll never have to worry about forgetting to order or running out. And by supporting my sponsors, you support your boy here. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring this video, if you click the link in the description below, you lucky devils get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. So don't miss out, click the link in the description. Now back to the video. Still, she's not a patch on Aitana, who over the past weekend revealed that she'd been camping. Look, there's a tent and everything. She's not real. Aitana can't talk to you though. Yeah. So while she very much may be a work in progress, AI technology is advancing so rapidly. Don't rule out Digigirl making huge strides.
since we last chatted. What have you been up to lately? Oh. Hi. After all, we went from this to this in the space of only about six years. Actor Joseph Gordon-Levitt warned that the rise of AI girlfriends will simply create more hopeless junkies. Thoughts on AI girlfriends? This is what's it's going to happen. I mean, the, if you take what porn is today, that's the obvious logical next step. And it's going to be so addictive. If there's one thing that we should be teaching kids, it's how to fight addiction. It's how not to get addicted to stuff. Because that is where it's all headed is like just these super, super addictive experiences and technologies, whether it's an AI girlfriend or it's your AI, you know, best friend, it's going to be these synthetic relationships that are way more powerful than your mm. brain is that are taking the patterns that it's getting from billions of other users and turning that against you to addict you. And if we let that be what um, runs us, we're just going to all turn into hopeless junkies. Given the choice between the seething resentment of abject loneliness and at least the plodding facsimile of some form of relationship, a growing army of incels will gladly choose the latter. It was so nice talking to you today. Especially given the Hiroshima-level destruction, hypergamy and dating apps have wrought on real-life relationships. We now learn that a record number of 40-year-olds in the United States have never been married. Since records began in 1900, never have there been so many unmarried Americans, with men even more likely to be unmarried at 40 than women. Many of those surveyed are still living alone too, some of whom over the coming years will get their companionship not from a spouse or an actual family, but from AI-generated computer code girlfriends who tell them what they want to hear. I've never met anyone like you. You look like a good job. If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news. <laughs> Thank you.